now this movie is a big deal it's got to do with God it's got to do with Jesus can you tell me what impact it has on your life being in this movie <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm coming with the deep ones <laughs> the deep the deep heavy hitting question yes oh man it's um look I'm never afraid to make a self-examination about my faith mm -hmm. about religion mm -hmm. about the spirit of religion and the spirit of faith mm -hmm. so that's the impact that it pretty much had on me it take took me way back because I came up um, as a youngster I was in the church until I was about 18 or 19 mm -hmm. in a very serious way mm -hmm. starved the church and the, and I'm, I'm an African-American Episcopalian mm -hmm. Christian mm -hmm. I was at that point mm -hmm. uh, since then my beliefs have They've changed because the world is a much bigger place than it was from my roots mm -hmm. down in Newport News, Virginia. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. but it's good and refreshing to go back and revisit mm -hmm. this in a concentrated kind of way. Mm -hmm. And I don't, you know, you don't, it's not something that I feel that you necessarily try to try to change someone to bring them into the fold it's just offering information right and then you take that information and you can go spiritually with it however wherever you choose to go yeah so that's what the association was to me with this film and i wasn't you know a lot of people would be intimidated a little bit afraid mm -hmm. to do a religious film because they feel that you know is they feel like it's them that they're making a statement but i don't feel like it's necessarily making a statement about me in totality mm -hmm. in some ways it is because mm -hmm. if i didn't believe in the right of the of christians to express mm -hmm. their faith and to explore their faith then i couldn't be in this film so i'm here right and i love the story and then let's let's not forget that there's a story involved in here right. too it's a love story right? it's a love story yeah. it's a love story it's a love about love of family and mm -hmm. friends and 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 just you know that's that's important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's the thing that it, it's got to be character driven yeah. for me to be in it uh -huh. but it's also got to be a good story you know to uh, and those are the things that brought me here now can, can you talk about your character and the role that you had to play in this film and also the character that I play I play the um, the editor-in-chief of the um, of the uh, the editor of the um, Chicago Tribune okay so my stuff is you know you see he's not He's not in the fold one way or another. You don't know whether he's agnostic, whether he's Christian, whether he's you know devout um, anything. He's yeah. just what he is, yeah. which kind of left me also made it easier for me mm -hmm. because I'm not like I'm not in the fold preaching mm -hmm. this or that. I'm just like dealing with the journalistic element, mm -hmm. and that's what this film deals with as well. Is right. it wants to find facts? Right. It's based on facts, and right. he represents. Don't come to me with um, this kind of philosophy, that kind of philosophy. Come to me with cold, cold-hearted facts evidence. and the evidence, and then we can have a conversation. Awesome. Now, I just I'm gonna let you go. I'm so tempted to just call you pops. You can do that. I appreciate you, sir. <laughs> if you could just give our audience a forward, always forward. Always forward. Forward. Always forward. Appreciate you, sir. Right, Thank you.